Um, we have a question from Andrew. And he says, I'm a senior in high school and I want to do easy strength during my pole vault season in a couple months. The thing is, I have a barbell with more than enough plates, a 45 pound kettlebell and 25 pound kettlebell. I'm also willing to buy a couple of bags of grass seed or manure from my local Home Depot. What do you think I should do for loaded carries? <laughs> well, don't, don't, buy, don't buy manure, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, you know, it's going to be prom season here, Andrew. Do you want to really smell like cow poo on prom night? I don't think so. Uh, uh, just get playground sand, okay? It's a little more expensive. The upside of playground sand also is uh, if you break the bag, you just, you can just pour it on a lawn or in a, on a fence, you know, around a fence. There's a million places to put it. That's why I got away from salt. Salt just kills grass and everything else, uh, any, everything. Um, and I got away from some, somebody told me one time I should buy bags of screws. And I thought to myself, what the? I mean, can you imagine carrying a bag of screws where you squeeze that thing, all of a sudden you got puncture wounds? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, what do you think I should do for loaded carries? And then the, the, the last part of the question is, the kettlebell seem too light for farmer carriers or suitcase carriers. Thanks, Dan. I'll let you know how everything goes after my um, season ends. So let's just do this. I think you, you're already in easy strength. Um, yeah, I, the 45 pound kettlebell should be fine for waiter walks and suitcase carriers. It should be. Um, but if you buy uh, playground sand, I think where I go, um, and I don't go to Home Depot anymore. Uh, they they piss me off. Uh, I go to the other ones. I go to Ace because they're locally owned. And uh, I will go to the other ones sometimes, but I, I try to avoid the place you recommend here. And who cares why? Um, if you can get the playground sand and then get a, a bag to put the bag in, uh, I used to take this far too serious. I, I'd have to get army uh, field packs and all this other stuff. And then I realized I'm just so overdoing it. Uh, you can fit two bags of sand in a typical high school backpack. Um, at, at least that's in my experience. Uh, when I was a teacher, I used to walk around the campus after the last day of school and grab up all the backpacks that the kids had just left in the hall. And I used to pick up the, uh, the notebooks and the reams of paper. In fact, a whole bunch of my journals are, <laughs> I just ripped the, I ripped the kids notes out because, you know, they'd have a 300 page, uh, uh, binder, but only write on five pages. And so I had 295 pages to write my favorite journal of all time. Uh, I one I had at Utah state, uh, was my brother Phil's, uh, history notes, uh, that he dropped out of the class. And I just stole the binder and I used that for almost two years. Uh, so on those backpacks I would pick up, if you throw a bag of sand into a, a high school, a typical book uh, book backpack, a, one bag of sand is fine. You can put it on your back and ruck, or you can carry it. Now, if you have a more sturdy one, generally you can put two bags of sand there. The only thing is, um, you just gotta be careful when you, you know, don't try to not drop, you know, straight like that on the cement or something like that. But you can drop, you can drop the, the, those bags anywhere. Uh, when I first did this, I would cut the, 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 you know, the shoulder harnesses off the straps. And then later I realized that it didn't really help. Uh, and also too, then you couldn't use it for the uh, rucking. So I quit doing that after a while, but I would say to cinch them down as tight as you can. And it might even be worth, you know, like running around one or two loops of athletic tape. Don't, don't make it too tight just so they don't get in the way when you drop. I don't know if there'd ever be a problem. Just, I would do that because I'm a psychopath, I guess. Um, if you have a 50 pound bag and a hundred pound bag, you're, you're pretty much set for life. <laughs> I did go up to as heavy as 150 pound bags on these. The, the hardest thing, it's going to sound weird, but when you have the three bags, when you hug, uh, the top one tends to just fold over and you really lose the difference between the hundred and the, since it just kind of lays on your shoulder, you have all that extra strain, but you're not, I don't think you're getting the benefits of just the simple 100 pound carry. 
So on bear hug carries, especially for your age, Andrew, I would strongly recommend uh, a 50, a 50 pound bag. And by the way, with that one, you can carry that on the shoulders also. And you can also just press it up and do a, a waiter's walk like this or however you construct it. Uh, you could probably suitcase carry it too if you have, if you trust the straps. That's always it. And then have that 100 pound bag, which would be the two two bags of sandbag for the, for the bear hug carries. And remember, when you're doing the bear hug carries, pick a time or a mark every so often when you stop and squat. So bear hug carry, you know, I don't know, from here to there, squat, stand up, bear hug carry, squat, stand up. And it, it, it you get that nice two for one with the bear hug carry. I think most people go too light on, especially the suitcase and the farmer walks. Um, so I'm glad you pointed that out. Um, I, I, I'm surprised when I find out that men are using like 35 pound weights, uh, 16 kilos as their suitcase carry. Um, I mean, I expect my collegiate females to use 40s, uh, 88 pounds. Um, and so that's why a lot of times people don't get the benefits of the, the loaded carry family because they're going far too light. Finally, one other thing I want you to think about and this is something I uh, I did a lot of, is if you have the rucking backpack on, the, the 50 on your back, and then you pick up the, the anything, either farm work, suitcase carry, whatever, any other load, that double load I, I found to be very helpful for track and field and American football. I, I don't know if I can tell you know everybody to do that, but it really, really helped me. Boy, that was, that's a good question. I would like to know how you do this season, Andrew. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's move on to the next question. That was good.